At Princeton Brain and Spine Care, our priority is providing the best care for our patients. For this reason, we offer a variety of minimally invasive techniques that we feel are scientifically proven, but avoid others that remain unproven or are not right for a particular problem. The minimally invasive techniques we offer include discectomy. Discectomies involve removal of intervertebral discs. At our practice, we do many discectomies minimally invasively using small incisions to access the spine and to perform the discectomy. We can do this type of decompression in the lumbar or the cervical spine. Anterior lumbar interbody fusion. A traditional approach for an anterior lumbar interbody fusion or ALIF procedure involves significant soft tissue damage and blood loss. We utilize a mini open approach for ALIF. This is a far less invasive procedure than the traditional approach, but is also safer than the laparoscopic technique. Posterior lumbar interbody fusion, or PLIF. We use a mini open PLIF techniques for such conditions as spondylolisthesis, instability, and degenerative disc disease. Pedicle screws. Until recently, the insertion of pedicle screws has required the surgeon to expose the pedicles. Today, we use different techniques that allow us to implant pedicle screws directly through the skin without disturbing the muscles and tendons. Vertebroplasty and kyphoplasty. These relatively new procedures are used to treat vertebral compression fractures by injecting orthopedic cement into the affected vertebrae. We have considerable experience with these techniques and excellent outcomes. Spinal fusion with instrumentation. Patients with spinal instability or chronic back pain may require spinal fusion surgery. This surgery is done to stabilize and strengthen the spine and to alleviate severe chronic back pain. Spinal fusion surgery is a common treatment for such spinal disorders as spondylolisthesis, instability, scoliosis, severe disc degeneration, or spinal fractures. Fusion surgery is usually considered only after non-operative therapies have failed.